Hi, today we are going to do the hot potato game code. So from the home screen, scroll down to games, and then it's the fourth one over our hot potato. We're going to start the box tutorial. In this game, you will start a timer with a random countdown of a number of seconds. When the timer is off, the game is over, and whoever is holding the potato has lost. You could watch this tutorial if you want, or just keep watching mine. We're going to add an event code to run when button A is pressed. So I'm guessing we don't need start, and we don't need forever. I can always check. There we go. All right, next, make a timer and set it to a random value between 5 and 15. All right, let me look. I have a variable called timer. It's picking a random number between 5 and 15. So I go to variables. I don't need to type the word set. I can just type timer. And then from variable set, variable set timer 2, pick a random number. And we're doing from 5 to 15 seconds. So you never know when the potato is going to go off. Next, add code to show that the game started. What's that look like? Okay, just showing something that the game started. They did a checkerboard. I might do... Ooh, what do I like? I like the snake. Okay. Put in a loop to repeat code while the timer is positive. When the timer is negative, the game is over. So that looks like this, a while timer greater than zero. So I know this is going to be a zero equals that I'm going to change to greater than. So I need a while loop from loops. I need the zero equals zero, and I'm going to change it to greater than zero. And then I need a variable for the timer. So while the timer is greater than zero, that means it's positive. If it's less than zero, that would mean it's negative. And what happens there? Oh, I don't know yet. Inside the while loop, add code to decrease the timer every second. So what's that look like? Change the timer by negative one and then pause for a second. Okay, so negative is going to make that number go down. I need a negative one. And then I need it to pause for one second so that it doesn't count down super fast. 1,000 milliseconds. Okay. After the while loop is done, add code to show that the game is over. So, oh, I like that, just the skull. So when it counts down, like say it starts at 5 and it goes 4, 3, 2, 1, then 0, and then negative 1. So when it's a negative 1, you get the whatever this is, skull. And I might change my skull. No, I like the skull. Why not? Just keep it that skull. Okay, then download your code to a micro bit, tape it to a potato, and play the game with your friends. That would be fun if it wasn't COVID times, wouldn't it? All right. Um, I think I might want to put some sounds on it just, just for fun. I'm going to double check that it works. I push A. There's a snake. We're passing around the micro bit on a potato. If you get caught with the potato when you get the skull, you're out. And it's taken a while. Maybe it picked 15 seconds. All right, there's the skull. I think I'm going to add some music because I think that would be funny. There's a great one. I'm going to add the bum 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 code. The wah wah wah. What is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so when that's going on, you're passing around the potato. It isn't blown up. Oh, there it goes. All right. I mean, if you wanted to, you could have some music in the background right here. That would just be playing melody. This play melody doesn't work very well. The start melodies tend to work better. You could put that here playing in the background, maybe. Let's see if it works. I might get stuck playing that. All right, it kind of works. It's not playing that whole song. And now 
not it's continuing to play it forever in the background it didn't stop that's maybe not my best idea you guys might play around with it if you want to have some sound go for it maybe you have a it play once up here just to start it okay don't forget when you're done share copy paste it into canvas and have a great day